For 16, we just want to write the equation of the parabola. We are given the vertex and the x-intercept. So if we're given the vertex um, and we want to write it in vertex form, well, that's pretty convenient. So remember, it's going to look something like this. Uh, if we're given the vertex, remember this is x and this is y. So this x one goes here for h, and this y is going to go here for k. Keep in mind that there's, there's a minus inside of the parentheses and a plus out here. So this minus and this negative are going to interact with each other. Um, so I have, if I just plug in that vertex, then I have this. I just plugged in the negative 3 here and the negative 4 here. So right here, the two negatives um, interact with each other, and we just have an x plus 3 in here. So this graph has shifted left 3 and down 4, and the vertex is left 3 and down 4. So uh, you can see that right here. Now I need to figure out what this a value is. And that's where this other point is going to come in. That's where this x-intercept point is going to come in. Now, if the x-intercept is 5, we actually need that written as an ordered pair. So that means the x value is 5, and if it's an intercept, that means that the y value is 0. So now I have an x value and a y value. And in this equation, I have an x value and a y value and an a value. So if I use this x value and I put it here, and I use this y value, and I put it here, the only thing left is a, and I can figure out what number a is, and then I can just put it back in the, in the equation. So I'm going to put a 0 here, put a 5 here. Um, so this gives me 8, and then I'm going to square 8. So I have 0 equals a, so 5 plus 3 is 8. So I have 0 equals 64a, and I'm going to go ahead and move that 4 over to this side. So that's actually 4 equals 64a, and then I'm going to divide by 64. And now this can simplify. You can divide both parts of this by 4, um, and so you get 1 over 16 equals a. So the a value that I need to put here is just 1 over 16. So um, it's just don't worry about it. You're going to obviously do that, but I don't want it. you getting confused here. So the equation is going to be y equals my a value, 1 over 16, x, remember that the minus 3 became a plus 3, and then minus 4. So this is the vertex form um, for this parabola right here.